Hi all, I'm Tony, this is SV Tapatia. And as you may well know, we're building a, a cruising sailboat, getting ready to uh, set off and hopefully travel a bit further afield with her. We uh, finished the build basically, the initial build, done some sea trials, and now doing some uh, final bits of uh, improvements, whatever upgrades, getting ready, as I say, to set off hopefully further afield. And one thing, another thing you might also know is that at the moment, one of the ongoing projects is to build a, a homemade wind vane based on plans purchased from, from Alan of Wind Rover. Plans are available from him if you're interested, get in contact with him. Um, yeah. The wind vane consists largely of two main units. There's a, a tower unit with the actual vane where you do the adjustments and uh, the control section, which is a trim tab, which fits on the back of the rudder, turns and then the flow of water over that trim tab encourages the main rudder to turn and thus steer the boat. So um, this week's all about the trim tab and the trim tab is, as I say, is a small rudder mounted on the back of the main rudder. It has an airfoil shape to it. It's made up of three sections of, of plywood laminated together, all on a stainless shaft. It will be fiberglassed and completely sealed. That's still to come. I haven't got that far yet, as you'll see. But uh, what I have achieved is to build the basic trim tab. It's made, it's on the shaft, it's shaped to airfoil shape and ready, ready for glass. Let's have a look. But before we get to that, just quickly, this series of videos, and this is, this is episode 313, I do believe, this series of videos has one real underlying purpose, and that is to encourage the idea that it's perfectly possible to build quite complex things yourself with some fairly fundamental equipment and, and you know facilities. So if you like these sort of videos, please hit that subscribe button down there. And you probably also know that it's the PayPal me and the Patreon if you like it even more. All right, let's get on. straight.
Now the shaft I'm using is, is 13 millimeter diameter and the ply is 12 millimeter thick so obviously I had to take a little groove out each, each side of the ply just so that the, the shaft would locate in the outer layers of ply and all the ply pieces would clamp tight together.
That's good. So I've had this overnight like this with the heater under it. All of the heater was off overnight, but it was on there for the first few hours underneath there. And it seems to have set off. So here it is, and I'll try and show you that fairly gently. Not finished, but shaped up, fixed firmly on the shaft. Um, 
I was out of, oh, it's a funny light today. I was out of epoxy and glass, so I had to order some more. And my supplier had their seasonal holidays until Monday, so that arrived yesterday. Epoxy fiberglass, ready to go. Uh, need to do a bit of filling on it still before I glass it, so it's not exactly <laughs> not exactly epoxy in temperatures. Obviously, I, as you saw, I did the bit with the heater earlier, and I can use the heater and, and do it, and will probably. Although next week's supposed to be significantly warmer, so looking forward to that, and maybe we can crack on. I've got a couple of other interesting projects on the go, which. I'll show you next time. Bought a couple of new tools, which I should probably talk about. But that's where we're leaving it today. Thanks for watching. See you soon. All the best.